Hello, hi there dear Scorpios, happy new year, I do hope that you're all gorgeous and well. My name is Bella and most people know me as Bella the Secret Psychic and this is your January Love Horoscope for 2019. Hope you've all had a great start to your new year. This forecast is for the 6th of January for the next four weeks following it and um, if you'd like to know more about me and my services all the links are just down below. Um, so, <laughs> right, when I was linking in with my guides around the you know what's happening in your love life this month there's a couple of things so they, they're very enthusiastic to say that some of you are going to be reuniting or um moving along your current relationship or getting connected to somebody that has marriage vibes so that's a good thing i.e if you're in a relationship right now it's likely to turn into marriage if you are embarking on meeting a new person they are likely to be compatible enough in this month if you meet them to turn into marriage or if you're returning to somebody because you want to have a second chance firstly it will be favorable um albeit i'll get to it in a minute in terms of not as easy but it is returnable but also that they that person is also representative of somebody that you want to be committed to married to also in the future so that's the first thing that came out. And I get for some of you straight away in the first week, you are going to be looking to put that into action. So I get a lot of you starting a new year. Maybe you've done it already over the, the new year in terms of proposed made engagements. If it's not that, then I get a lot of you in the first week returning back to somebody to see if they'll take your new offer of who they are, who you are and what you have to offer them. Um, you come, you know, not just with words, but with actions and you want to build on things. You want to show them things. You want to do things with them to make that quite tangible, which is really lovely. Um, so don't be afraid if you're looking to reconnect with somebody and you're worried about whether they're going to say no, it's highly coming up that they will say yes. But like I said, it may be a yes, but, <laughs> but you know, but a, but a yes or they're a bit cautious about you. So just like know that it's it, it needs time to warm up a little bit but it is in your favor so don't worry so even if you see them and they say no first of all give them about a week they'll change their mind it's just like do you see what I mean like it's it's a yes but it's a yes but <laughs> kind of feeling but it does work out in the end um so the first week is all about you proposing offering doing committing showing when it comes to love, again, if you're single, this is about you doing, you know, presenting your best self when you are dating, you know, making, um, you know, only choosing to to meet with people who you have some, you know, real ideas about being serious with or that you think that they're serious about you, et cetera, et cetera. And if you're single, that will run through the whole month of your dating. So whether you do it the first week or whether you do it the last week, it will be around about you choosing partners who mirror what you're giving because there will be this compatibility, like I said. And actually for other fire signs, it's other fire signs that have been shown as being quite compatible with this month also too, but not the only star sign, just to let you know. Um, so then when it comes to about the second week, we have this kind of, um, this kind of applies to if you're in a relationship, I think mostly, particularly those who've returned it is in that second week that I like I said if they said no the first time then they will say yes in the second week if they said yes the first time it's in the second week that they might then be testing you <laughs> to see if you mean it make maybe make you jump through a few hoops um maybe act a bit weird with you because they're still paranoid because of past experiences it's in that second week that they see that that, that, that it's, it's not bad it's just you know it's a little bit like being in a sea that's getting a little bit rocky but it's just to see whether you can both swim and that you would save their life <laughs> you know if they needed you to haul them out the water to see whether you will do that it's it feels like a testy testy testing if particularly if it's a returning if it's a long-term relationship then it's more like i get planning about the commitment um i also get here about there is some tests i guess a little bit but they feel a lot more minor than if you are returning but overall it's an air of kind of like celebration if i'm being honest with you because even with the tests you seem to pass the test so therefore it ends up with celebration also too in the third week, heavily, definitely, heavily, if you were the person who came back or tried to get back with somebody, you are back now with them. If it was in that week, 
Some uncomfortable questions that perhaps you wanted to avoid or have later are brought up. So the only example I can give is, let's say you wanted to get somebody back and you've asked them to get back with you. Perhaps when you broke up, you went off with somebody else and perhaps you were hoping to not talk about that. (laughs) No, they're going to make you talk about it. So there are some uncomfortable conversations basically that seem to come up, but they're really necessary because they're about building trust. So the best advice that you've been shown is to aid that communication, that it don't see it as, oh, if I reveal certain things, are they going to not see me in a good light? No, actually, it will build trust, as honest as you are, to have those difficult conversations. And it demonstrates that person that you're able to have that communication. And it puts their mind at rest, because after the third week, then there'll be no more testing. They will relax, you're far more happier, and things can move forward. If you resist that, and you are not truthful, Scorpio, that person could actually cut the relationship off. So it's really, really strongly advised that you are truthful um, and that you don't try to blag it or lie because they will. They will break up with you. So it's not worth it Worth it for you to go the whole, whole entire month to not demonstrate that aspect of yourself, just to clear the dead, dead break. Because then after that, it's all fine. Um... Again, if you're in another in in a in, in a long term relationship where that doesn't apply, I just but it just feels like I think it's fine. If I'm being honest with you, I think it's fine. You're moving along. There's contentment. There's plans. You're you're working side by side. Nothing else major is good. It's all good. So it's it's an interesting month, depending on whether you're single, depending on whether you're in a relationship, or depending on if you're returning. There's different elements that come out of it, but it's progression. I have to say, there's progression for you um you are this is the biggest theme is that in this month this month is about you meeting the person that you're likely to spend years with or marry which is the most important message out of that so hence why the last message I gave for those where that if you're not honest you don't want to ruin that opportunity if that's where you were wanting it to to head towards you know marriage has to come with that kind of honesty doesn't it so do it now And I really hope that it's been helpful for you all. So I will be back next month with another reading. But for now, take care. Bye.